Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing Panic at the Disco newest album, Death of a Bachelor. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is simply my opinion on the album. We all have different thoughts on it and I would gladly read yours in the comment section down below. We are finally getting out of the January slumber with this new album from Panic at the Disco. I've been listening to the band since it started and it's still so surreal to me to realize that they are still around nowadays. And even if it's very different because a lot of things happen to the band, um, with this album, yeah, it's still doing really good. Death of the Bachelor is quite an album to listen to. Brendan Urie really provides a lot to it because this time, well, it's pretty much him and only him producing, playing, writing and composing, which is a lot to do, but he did it quite nicely. There's still the Panic at the Disco weirdness that I love so much, and even though the previous album, well, I don't remember much from it, if I have to be completely honest, but this time I was really invested in Death of the Bachelor because all the songs released prior to it, they're all excellent. Like, we have the motivational anthem with Victorious, the weird and crazy song with Emperor's New Clothes, the Frank Sinatra homage with Death of the Bachelor, and it's quite something to witness how Brendan Urie experimented so much. You can really feel that there's a lot of depth to the album, a lot of personality and evolution, and here we are in 2016 with this. Now, onto the little flows on this album, well, first of all, it's a really short album. Barely 36 minutes and you never really have a time to settle down because the craziness and hyperactive aspect of it really never stops, which left me almost breathless, as if I run a marathon and I welcome the last song called Impossible Year with relief because it offers a nice and slow moment that I kinda wanted to happen before because, yeah, it goes really fast. Brendan Yuri really pays homage to Frank Sinatra on more than one occasion on this album, and if it works quite well on Death of the Bachelor, I felt like on the song Impossible Year it does suffer from a way of singing that wants to give this homage to, you know, Frank Sinatra, and yet it felt very odd for me at times as it gives the impression of just simply maybe trying too hard or just copying more than being inspired from Frank Sinatra which made the song never really take off or feel that personal. However, Death of the Bachelor does offer a lot of dynamism, very catchy songs, lyrics, and I have to say I was really pleased by how the album turned out. I feel like it's definitely a grower with time, and I gotta give credit to Brendan Urie for giving it all, and he got on this one a really great spirit, which elevated everything quite a lot. I give it 4 stars. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to tell me what you think of Death of the Bachelor in the comment section down below and I'll see you next time.